South Central Montana bracing for yet another round of wintry weather. Up to 10 inches of new snow in the forecast between now and Saturday. Travel conditions statewide will put drivers to the test. Difficult travel conditions reported in many locations statewide today. Severe driving conditions reported this afternoon in and around Harloton. And tonight, traffic on Interstate 90 heading into Wyoming was brought to a standstill. This was the scene around 6 o'clock this evening after two semi-trucks jackknifed on the Aberdeen Hill, Aberdeen Hill on I-90, about three miles north of the Montana-Wyoming state line. Now we do know traffic is again moving over that portion of the interstate at this hour, but the Montana Department of Transportation reports that conditions continue to be snow-packed and icy. Here in Billings tonight, motorists sharing the streets with berms of snow and the snow plows. This as city and private crews try to get as much snow off the streets as possible in advance of the next snow event expected Thursday. So conditions again very slick this evening. You see the uh, shine off the streets tonight. Private plowing crews started to clear the residential streets across the Magic City on Monday. Now take a look. This map shows how the city is divided into six different areas as crews work 12-hour shifts to clear the residential areas of snow. This morning, the crews finished up in Area 3 south of Broadwater. And as of midnight tonight, they'll complete the plowing in Area 2, which is south of Polly. Plows will then begin work on Area 1 north of Polly, beginning on the, in the west suburbs of Copper Ridge and Ironwood, working to the east. Now, the final rotation will see plows move to Area 6 in the Heights, then Area 5 downtown, finishing in Area 4, the south side. With between 8 to 10 inches of snow expected Thursday through Saturday, crews could be working two weeks straight with no days off. In other news tonight, authorities have identified a man killed in a head-on crash on Highway 212 near Joliet last night. The Carbon County Sheriff says Kent Harris, a 73-year-old from the Red Lodge area, died in the crash. The Montana Highway Patrol says Harris was attempting to pass a snow plow and collided with another vehicle that was headed the opposite direction. Harris was driving a red pickup truck. The driver of the black Jeep, 71-year-old Mike Kreider of Billings, survived the crash, only suffering minor bumps and bruises. On to the weather scene now. Q2 Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire joins us with details on what looks like another big snow on the horizon, Bob. Yeah, and this one scares me because there's going to be a lot of people traveling around the states for sporting events. we got a big wrestling event here in right. the Billings area. So people are going to be traveling. But look at this. Right through the middle part of the state, that's where we're going to have our extremely difficult travel conditions. Poor visibility, snow-packed roads, going to make travel very difficult. Unnecessary travel is actually discouraged in those areas. Plus, uh, if you do have to travel, and a lot of folks are going to, they recommend that you have an emergency kit in your vehicle just in case. In the meantime, Meantime, they have changed how much snow we are going to get. The newest, latest computer run just came in. It's not as bad as first off, but it's still pretty bad. You can see in Billings, we're expecting uh, about 6.23 inches. Over in Livingston, about 9 inches. About 10 inches over in uh, Livingston and Miles City, about 9. So it's going to be a bad one. We'll have more conditions, more uh, information on that coming up in a few more minutes. All right. Thank you very much.